At this point, you should absolutely stop your mid-journey subscription and today we will see another free AI image generator tool that you can use for free up to a certain amount of credits per day. Let's check out what tools are available in this platform. You've got an AI image generator. If you have the paid version, you can actually go from image to video by generating four second videos. You have the AI image resizer, background remover and crop and upscaler and you can also train a model on your own images so it can handle your face and you can generate whatever you want with your face in it so let's get started let's try out for example the ai image generator but before we do so let's go over the tiers and what we can do with the free version so we actually have image generation capabilities but we lack video generation model training commercial rights faster generation and lossless image format but only with 11 dollars per month Month on the monthly subscription you can actually have all of these things a very cheap platform you can generate a big amount of images you will also have access to stable diffusion 3 more batch sizes faster image generations you can generate up to five videos in a month you have a lot of more credits for all of the other things so on the toolbar, we go over to the AI generator. You need to have a point of reference. So for this video, I'm going to compare against Recraft. You know it if you have been following the channel in the past that I have been using Recraft for a lot of videos. I absolutely love this model. It's also free. So what we're going to do is actually generate a Roblox character. So we're going to generate this image over here. So I'm going over here on the AI generator. I select essential. I can select the model that I want and Flux Dev will get us the best image quality. I paste the prompt over here. And if you want, you could actually in the future uh, use AI improve to improve your prompt if your prompt is very small. So you can also, uh, you know, select style if you have trained a new style. But for this generation, I'm just going to put the going to put the aspect ratio that I want. I want 16 to 9 and we're going to generate one image. So let's check it out. Click the button to create image. And we are waiting a little bit for the generation to happen. This is pretty normal because these models are big and they take a little bit of time. So let's see what the result is. Not bad not amazing um, we can click the button to generate similar if we want to so by clicking the button you can actually reuse this and click create image so let's see what the result is I think the result will be probably the exact same thing the link for this website will be down below in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out so we're waiting for the generation to happen and this is the result. So let's try another thing. Let's go to background remover. So from the gallery, I'm going to select this image, select image, and let's see what the result of the background remover is. So background remover indeed works very, very well. We can see here that uh, you know, it removed the background completely and it's also very close to the borders. So I find that this is one of the best background removers out there because this is not a, even a real person and the colors are pretty similar. So I think it did an amazing work. We can also check the, uh, the upscaler. So image over here, select image and let's see the upscale result. I think this website has a lot of nice toolkits that are quite complementary to the ones that we like. So you may want to use another AI image generator with a bigger and better model or more credits and come over here to do upscaling, background removal and all of these nice things. So, you know, you don't have to use one tool to do everything. You can use multiple tools and play to the complementary powers of one another. So we're waiting for the upscaling to happen. Hopefully the result, you know, is good. So at the same time, we could actually go and do the uncrop. So we can actually go and do this thing over here. So let's select this image. And we also set this up to run. We're waiting for the result to happen. So 
let's see what the uncropper will do. And here you can see how it extended the image. So it actually put back our character, generated feet, generated also the rest of the hands, which is pretty accurate. And I think that's looking very, very nice. Let's also try it out here with background. So I'm going to select this one. And I think this is going to be a little bit more accurate and a little better. So let's check it out. Again, we're basing all of our generations on a low quality image. And I think the result is pretty good actually in this case. It was pretty accurate. It didn't lose details. I think it's okay. So uh, we were waiting for the upscaler and let's see the result. So this was the original image and this is the upscaled image. I think it's quite obvious that it is a lot more crisp, a lot more high quality. You can actually go here and click resize for the image that you already have and you get redirected to another page. So, all right, it works right now. Hopefully we will see a nice result. So let's see what this extender actually does as a result. And I think the result is pretty good. So if we watch how the result was before, we would see that the result is like that. And after that, it really filled the scene from top to bottom. So I think this is nice. This, let's see what the Juggernaut model does as a result. Hopefully it's better than the previous generations. And I think this is not bad, but it's not really, you know, it doesn't really capture what I want it to capture. But again, the result, I think it's quite a lot better. Put in an image and you can let it describe it to you by clicking the describe image button. So this is the, you know, the suggested prompt to generate the specific image. Let's click the generate button and see if the result is better. So this is kind of freaky, but you can see that it is indeed very high quality. Um, let's also check with the Flux dev model. So let's do two image generations. I have a little bit of credits to use. And we can actually compare the best quality model versus Flux 1 scanner. So hopefully this is a, a little bit, you know, it shows the difference. So yeah, indeed, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe this needs a little bit of upscaling. Again, you have to take into account that they restrict the resolution of the image. Uh, let's go ahead and check out this image generation. And in this case, I'm just going to go for a video image for phones. So let's create image. So we changed the aspect ratio in this section over here and let's see what the result is. There is also an option for consistent characters. So by training your own uh, model character, you can have cons consistency over generations, which is very useful for things like branding, etc, etc. So this is the result. This is a very good generation in all honesty. I think this model is using some kind of um, realistic preset, in all honesty. But what I would like to do right now is try one more AI generation, which is not going to be easy. Because we will be generating this specific image, which is very hard to generate. This is a very detailed, big prompt and, you know, you can see here that the quality from Recraft V3 is absolutely insane. This model over here, Flux Dev, is a lot less high quality. So I think it's going to be hard for this tool to actually capture this kind of detail. But let's check it out. We are here to check out tools. We're not affiliated with anyone. And I find that the result here is not bad at all, actually. I think this is a very nice, interesting result. Again, doesn't really capture the prompt that I wanted to capture, but I wouldn't say it's bad. I would say that's like interesting. I would actually even go ahead and say that in terms of image quality, maybe this is even better than the previous one. It's not as close to the prompt and the thing that I want 
it to make because I wanted to make a cyborg. So I want, you know, to have some kind of futuristic uh, chip on the face. But in terms of quality, I think this is very, very, uh, let's say, realistic. So I think the preset over here is realism, which indeed during generation uh, makes a complete difference on the result. So this is get image.ai. I think it's a very good alternative for realistic images to mid journey and you can use it for 100 credits free per month. Again, if you're interested in more free AI, uh, AI generators, for example, this recraft thing, you can go ahead and check my previous videos. So hopefully you found this video interesting, uh, you've learned something new, and maybe you added a new tool to your toolkit. In my opinion, background remover and the upscaler are the two best things in the platform. So I would go ahead and actually, let's try and upscale this image for, you know, just, just before we finish this video. Because these two tools are very cheap to do. You can do like 50 upscales and 50 background removals every month for free with this tool. So I think I will be keeping this tool uh, for these two specific things. I think this is a very good tool for these two things. I really like it. Maybe there are better alternatives. You can tell me down below in the comments what other tool you would suggest or you would want me to use. But for these two things, I think it's a very good tool. And yeah, the upscaling quality is absolutely amazing, guys. Like, here's the original image, and this is how much more realistic it is, how it captures the colors better, the contrast better, the details. Very nice. Very, very nice. So you found the niche for this website. Thank you so much for watching. Press the like button if you enjoyed. See you on the next video.